And if you test your alkalinity and you find that it's below 80, you can raise it with alkalinity up. If you sanitize with the three inch trichlor tablets, you'll find that your alkalinity will drop uh, because this does release acid as they melt. So your alkalinity may remain low. So you want to keep it between 80 and 120. So if it's below 80, you, want, you definitely want to raise it up. And the good thing about alkalinity up, it raises your alkalinity without raising your pH. So it's a great way to raise your alkalinity in your pool. And you just can, you can add it directly to your skimmer. It is powdery. You add it directly to your pool, it'll cloud it up. So I'll dump it in the skimmer. And like soda ash, it has a high pH, so it's not going to damage the equipment. And unlike soda ash, the great thing about this, it won't raise the pH as it raises the alkalinity, whereas soda ash will raise both. And you don't want to overdo it with the alkalinity up either. Do it in increments, that way it doesn't raise it too high. And alkalinity is tied in with pH, so every time you add acid, it also drops the alkalinity down. Uh, so keep that in mind also. As you balance your pH, your alkalinity will also drop with the adding of acid to your pool. Check your alkalinity at least once a month to make sure it's in balance. And check your pH once a week. 